This is the Video Game Votary. Show your support and hit subscribe right now. What's going on Video Game Votary fan audience? It's your boy the Video Game Votary here with another unboxing and review. Um, clearly this has already been unboxed, but as you can see here, I have the C64 Mini. I picked this up about a year ago. I was on family vacation, stopped in a local GameStop in Virginia, and I seen this up on the shelf. Um, There's actually a couple of them listed. One was at the regular price, which is the was there for $79.99. I saw the one with the $29.99 sticker. They honored the price, and I got it. Um, I've actually never even played it, but I did open it. Um, I had footage of the unboxing. I don't know what happened to it, but needless to say, it's all the same. Um, so, looking at the box here, it was boxed well. It's got an interior box as well. It says plugs into your TV via included HDMI cable. So, that's what it came with. Uh, that is somewhere around here. Um, it did come with an AC adapter. Um, on the side, C64 mini computer, which is the keyboard, the C64 joystick. HDMI cable, USB supply cable, instruction manual, and 64 pre-installed games. So 64 classic retro games included. Just a few to name off the top. Boulder Dash, California Games, Impossible Mission 2, Jumpman, Summer Games 2, Street Sports Baseball, Speedball 2, Pistol 2, Pit Stop 2, I'm sorry. Paradroid, Temple of Ass 5 Trilogy, Winter Games, Iridium, and Basic. Which, um, back in the day, I don't have a lot of history on the C64 because it's well before my time. I was born in 85, so this had been around, had its time and passed, but it was an actual computer at the time. That's when computers were on the rise and this was an actual game and console. So, um, they, this is basically like a, um, this is a smaller version. Obviously, it's a mini, but this is a non-working keyboard. It's kind of just for looks, but it does have an HDMI port there. It has the power in, um, micro USB. Then on the side, you got your power button there. You got two USB ports in which you can actually plug in a USB keyboard and use that as an actual keyboard and use this as a, I guess, quote unquote, working computer. And then what you see next to it is the C64 joystick. It has two, four, eight buttons, two up here, two here, joystick, and then the four at the bottom. Plugs in via USB. Um, apparently, they came out with a second revised model that you can actually uh, upload your own games onto it, which was pretty cool of uh, Commodore to do that. So, I mean, everything feels nice. This is pretty cool to just kind of have sitting there. Whenever people come over, um, in the venue down here they always ask is it real and clearly it's not um so it's a pretty cool looking thing i think it would have been cool for it for them to actually include a mini working keyboard that would have been fantastic so let's get into a little bit of gameplay all right guys we're back so here's the main menu of this c64 mini so let's take a look through here we got different languages english spanish italian french and that's dutch could be wrong. I'm probably saying that wrong. Forgive me for being completely incorrect. Okay, let's find out which button is like the enter. Okay. Alright, so here you have the main game menu. So let's go through the game and see what we got on here. We got Alley Cat, Anarchy, Avenger, C64 Basic. It's the beginning all purpose symbolic, symbolic instructional code. Basic, that's uh, the acronym for it is a procedural programming language and was designed to be easy to use. The original C64 computer included a variant of BASIC, which is available here. Please visit www.dc64.com for more information on learning to program in BASIC on the C64, which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, I don't know if I got the patience to do it. Maybe one day I'll try it. But let's get to the game. Some more of the games. Battle Valley. Boulder Bash, Breakdance, <laughs> wow, California Games, Chips Challenge, Koi Chop, or Koi Cop, Confusion, Cosmic Causeway, Cyber Dine Warrior, Cybernoid, Cybernoid 2, Deflector, Destroyer, 
That ruins a Wally. Sounds weird. Fire Lord. Gateway to Ash 5. Gribbly's Day Out. Heartland. Hero Robotics. Highway Encounter. Hunter's Moon. Hysteria. Impossible Mission. Impossible Mission 2. IO. Jumpman. Jumpman 2. Mega Apocalypse. Mission AD. Monty on the run. I'll skip a couple. Uh, Another world. Nabi the Aardvark. And if you guys don't know, if you guys are familiar with Arthur the cartoon, Arthur was an Aardvark. Just a little fun little tip. Uh, <laughs> Nose of Yes Yes Side Yesod. Paradroid. Pit Stop Two is a racer. Rana Rama. Robin of the Wood. Silicon Warrior. Skate Crazy. School Days. Snare. Speedball. Speedball 2. Spin Dizzy. Street Sports Baseball. Street Sports Basketball. Street Sports Soccer. Summer Games 2. Super Cycle. Sword of Far Gold. Temple of Ass 5 Trilogy. The Ark of Yes Side. C64 Hall of Fame. A massive thanks to all those who influenced or back the C64. Your enthusiasm has kept the original computer alive, inspiring us at Retro Games Limited to bring the fun and excitement back in a smaller modern format. Please regularly visit www.dc64.com for full game instructions and expanded user manual, updates, and firmware upgrades. That's pretty cool. Thing on a spring. Tower Toppler. Trailblazer. Iridium. West Bank. Who Dares Wins 2. Winter Games. World Games. Zynaps. And that's it. Okay, so let's look at a couple of these menu options and see what we got. Okay, so that turns the sound on. So you could do Pixel Perfect, European 4x3, North American, North American CRT, European CRT. Those give you the scan lines. Alright, so let's go back. That's your language again. And you you can plug in your USB keyboard, legal notices, system information, and factory reset. Alright, so let's get into some gameplay. I'm trying to find what may be simple enough for me to kind of pick up. Let's see. A shooter would be nice. I'm just so unfamiliar with all of these games, I have no idea what to try. You know what? Let's try Cool Cop. Why not? Stuck in something. Let's back out of this. It's a bad game. Bad game. At least for me. I'm not saying the game was bad, and I'm not downing you older t uh, gamers, but I have no idea what the heck is going on here. And I think everyone's a wild. We find the safe combination spread across different locations to pay the wages when in some area switch to a different character. Wally, Wilma, Tom, Dick, and Harry have different abilities. Walk past objects, collect or swap them over to win, take each number to safe in the correct order, avoid anything. Let's check it out. Baby Herbert. You know this is a long time ago. Press fire to start. Okay, so there he is. Did I die or I'm confused. Tough luck. Yeah, apparently I died. I don't understand. Old cans left empty. 
Oh god. Right, the piggy bank. Oh. You go inside or what? Okay. Guess I gotta pick this item up here and not get hit, I assume. So I got that. And look like I got caught. Hmm. Very strange. Let's find something a little more simple. Let's find that racing. I think this is a shooter. I.O. Let's check it out. 1987. Video game voter was two years old. Maybe not even. Okay. Gotta be able to get a hold of this joystick and get familiar with it. Wow. Oh my god, I suck. <laughs> not as it definitely uh, the controls are I guess stiff that's probably how it was back then what did I get hit or maybe uh, you know what I ran into the bottom okay I thought maybe I can Jesus suck so bad there's so many things coming at you look at me raging at games from 1987 oh my god this is crazy. Alright, let's try something else. <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry for the kids back in this time. This all they had to play. Although that game wasn't too bad. Oh, let's see here. Oh, let's try pit stop too. I got a feeling these controls are gonna stink. Drive one, please type your name or just press the term to keep the name as the default. Press your button. Okay, I can get with this. Moving slow, but I can get with it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad. And oh my god, the sound effects. <sighs> Why do I lose speed going around the corner? He catches me. Straight away I catch him back up catch back up to him. I must say, for like the uh, mid to late 80s, I guess it's not too bad. Of course, Nintendo came out of nowhere and crushed it all, but this isn't the worst. Scaled up to 720, I obviously, I honestly thought it'd be a lot worse than this. But, um, not bad, honestly. I can get with this. And as long as I had it, which has been about a year, I have never played and use the C64 Mini just yet until now. I'm running out of fuel. Out of quarter tank. And this is just lap one. Oh my god. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, I don't want to stay in one. <coughs> Change your bike color, leather color, leather style. It's loading, I guess. Oh. 
Okay, so you don't press a button to go. You hold the stick up. Simple enough. Not bad. I wonder if this is a straightaway. See if we get up on a turn and see how it is controlling it. Whoops. <laughs> I hit a button, he veered off to the right. Oh, so that's kinda like a drifting turn maybe. Crap. Sup. Alright, let's see what else we got. Game going here. Let's try basketball. Oh, that's why I couldn't get to work. I had the wrong button select skill level. We're gonna have to go easy on this. Look, Casio. I don't know if Casio was like a sponsor or producer or something on this game. Cross promotion for the other epic street sports game. Oh yeah, look at that sweet basketball. Spalding, baby. First to twenty. I'm the green team. Okay, jump to that button. Oh, I got the ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, sweet baby. Coast to coast on. Can you steal it? Question is, can I shoot a three pointer? Let's see. Splash. Buckets. So is it bad? I guess, for, like I said, for the time, I really don't know what to go off of. I can't really gauge it. Would it be fair to judge this against the NES? I guess that's the real question. Going there like Jordan, son. Uh. Oh crap, what the heck? Buckets. I'm killing these guys. It's three on three. Is this like NBA jams? No fouls. I definitely. Oh, still, still. Oh, he got crossed over. What in the world? All right, now we can try the other sports games now. things in black and white oh my god look at this field okay I'm up the bat I stink strike Shh. Shh. 
You get a sand shaking. Come on, whiners. Come on, Ralph. His name's Ralph. You suck, Ralph. Get out of here. Now we got Kevin. Kevin likes, looks like an old man. I thought I hit it. I gotta hit something. Oh my god. Let's wait a little longer. Too early. All right, we got Dana up the bat. Oh my God, I stink so freaking bad. <laughs> got it, finally. Ooh, outfield grounder. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my God, how did he throw it from the outside? From the outfield, it beat me to first base. You gotta be kidding me. Let's try some fielding. That was a foul. Oh my god. Okay, this is where it comes in. To play and it sucks. Oh my god. Alright, so that's not bad. In the direction you turn the joystick. Not too bad. Play worse. So, there you have it, guys. That's the C64 Mini. Again, I'm not familiar with this computer based console at all. Um, This is well before my time. My first real introduction was the NES. Um, and that was when I was like four or five. So, um, these are probably around like 85. That was the year I was born. 84. It was before I was born, 85. So, I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about the C64 Mini. Like, for me, it was more of a novelty thing. Uh, not so much nostalgia, but the fact that I'm a gamer collector and it was a good price is like, why not pick it up? So, let me know down in the comment section if you have one, if you picked it up, at what price point did you pick it up? Um, I would definitely like to hear from some of the vanguardians that are from this era that this was their go-to, like their um, home computer system that they played their video games on. I really would like to hear from you guys. Again, thank you for the continued support. Don't forget to like, comment, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Also hit the bell, turn on notifications. This is your boy, The Video Game Votary, signing off.